Hello friends, welcome to the automation revolution. Uh, in this video, we will learn mechatronic system. So, first, mechatronic system is consists of uh, different types of uh, technologies like electrical, electronics, and uh, different types of mechanism. So, in this kit, we can see uh, there are different units we have used, and uh, this kit is related to self assembly of uh, different uh, metal and non metal uh, cube. So, here we will see how this uh, cubes can be assembled automatically. Uh, so, you can see in this kit we have used uh, this conveyor belt system and uh, the P uh, plc based control system and we have pneumatic control also so this type of control uh, we can use uh, for a uh, macaron system so now uh, we'll see first uh, the operation of this kit and then uh, later on we'll uh, see different unit wise uh, processing how it's working on the system so now, now we will see uh, this macaroni kit uh, in working condition. So let's start. This is first uh, conveyor belt system, and uh, you can see uh, this uh, both uh, metallic and non-metallic materials uh, we have kept in uh, this unit. And uh, now we will start the system. So I will uh, just press this button uh, for start kit. So you can see this uh, metallic cube is running over this conveyor belt, and uh, this all sensor are sensing. And if see uh, there is uh, any mistake in conveyor belt system or any uh, metal object, so this conveyor belt first rejects this material, and after that, once again uh, metal object will come over uh, this conveyor belt system. So now this unit will take second object. This capacitive sensor will sense and this sense uh, orientation. This both are a sensor for India inductive uh, capacitive sensor. Now this handling unit will uh, pick the object and it will uh, keep in this pressing chamber and simultaneously uh, the second object will come this is plastic uh, cube and this pressing chamber uh, will press this cube and it will make uh, the assembly uh, for this cube once again uh, this handling unit will pick the material and uh, finally this ASRS unit means automated storage and retail system will keep this object in particular location so you can see uh, this AS ASRS unit is going uh, for keeping this object so now it will keep in particular location and uh, step by step second object will come from the system and this plant will uh, run automatically so this uh, wall system is controlled by uh, PLC controlling and uh, different types of sensor and actuators are working behind this system. So we'll uh, see uh, each and every unit uh, step by step and uh, we'll understand the objective of different sensor and actuator and how system is working. So now we'll see uh, this control panel of this macaronis kit. So here you can see we have used uh, Siemens S7300 uh, PLC and these are the input and output module uh, we have connected. So the sensor from uh, this kit, uh, so we are coming in input output module and uh, we have connected uh, different actuators like uh, DC motors and stepper motor with this output module. And here is the uh, control panel we have used uh, switch gear different. So now this is a FRL unit and uh, this is uh, filtering uh, air which is coming from this compressor. And we are getting, uh, we can regulate this air pressure uh, from this FR unit. This is a uh, operator panel. So here from operator panel we can give the input. So here you can uh, see plant is already started. And these are different buttons for uh, handling particular unit. Now uh, this is pressing uh, chamber. Uh, so in pressing chamber this both cube will as, as, uh, assemble automatically and from this pressing chamber this ASR, ASR unit uh, will keep the material in storage section so this pressing chamber is pressing the material and, uh, this is finally uh, ASRS unit So you can see uh, this ASRS unit is uh, keeping the material in particular different locations. So when this downside drag will fill then it will go for uh, upward condition. 
and this will keep the material in step by step condition this is how uh, this macaronis uh, system is working two types of uh, objects. One is uh, non-metal and and uh, you can change this uh, capacitivity from the spot. So this sensor is uh, sensing the presence of any object. The second is a uh, pneumatic cylinder and uh, you here you can see this is the magnet type of sensor. This, is, uh, this sensor is uh, sensing uh, when this object is in uh, exit condition. So this uh, sensor is sensing this orientation. This uh, sensor will uh, send the signal to PLC and then uh, next execution cycle will happen. Uh, this third one sensor is a uh, photo sensor, so only a metal type of object will sense. You can see here this indication is coming. So the only uh, reflective type of material uh, will sense this object. Last sensor is inductive type sensor. Uh, this sensor will sense only a uh, metal type of material. So you can see here. So if there is any uh, metal type material, so this sensor will uh, send the signal to PLC. So, so all these sensors are sensing uh, any object and it is sensing, uh, sending the signal to PLC for the next execution cycle. In last we have this light sensor, and uh, in, in end when there is object in uh, convert end condition, so that time the sensor is sending the signal to PLC. This is a DC motor, and uh, here we have a uh, gearbox system. So this DC motor is uh, responsible for uh, running this convertible system. Next, this is a vacuum generator. So this is picking uh, any object and uh, from a vacuum system. So this pneumatic air is coming from this uh, pot and uh, is generating vacuum over here. This is a pneumatic uh, cylinder again and uh, this both sensor are magnet type of sensor. When, so this in extract or retract condition, this sensor are sensing. So here right now, uh, this poster is in uh, retract condition. So you can see here, uh, the sensor is on and it is uh, getting the signal from the uh, here uh, we have a uh, stepper motor for uh, exit positioning of this handling uh, unit for pressing chamber. So in exit position we can uh, move this handling unit. And here uh, this all are solenoid valve. So solenoid valve is one type of output. So electrically operated the solenoid valve uh, is when this valve is op operated. So that time this pneumatic air uh, will pass through this cylinder and uh, this cylinder will uh, move and detect and for condition. Thank mm -hmm. you.